Hello YouTube. If you've ever played a class-based video game in the past, you'll be familiar with the three main roles they typically have. Frontline tanks that can take a lot of punishment and create space for their teammates, DPS that are in charge of dishing out the damage and getting key picks, and the supports, who keep the team alive through healing and utility. I've played all these roles at some point in my life, but the one I keep coming back to is support. Something about the role really clicks with my personality, and I really enjoy the playstyle and strategies of the role. I proudly call myself a support main, and here's why. The first reason that I really enjoy playing support is the wide range of skills that the position requires, which are completely different from the other roles. Some of the most important skills being positioning, prioritization, mechanical skill, and game sense. Positioning basically boils down to knowing the optimal place for you to provide the most healing and utility to your team without dying in the process. In general, supports are designed to be very squishy targets that get killed in the blink of an eye. This means that if you find yourself in the wrong spot for even just a second, you'll find yourself being obliterated faster than you can say, Oh boy, sure hope I don't get killed right now. This is what I'd consider to be an example of good positioning, so I'm quite far back, not really deep in the action. The enemy team is trying to push, but it's like they don't even know I exist because I'm so far back. I'm playing a character with a long range sniper, so I'm still able to be a part of the fight. I'm just far enough away that no one is really able to contest my healing or utility, and I'm just able to do my part from a distance and stay alive. And obviously, since I'm such a legendary support main, I've obviously never made a single error when it comes to positioning, except for maybe in this case where I decided I was going to try and fight the entire enemy team. Um, but other than that, it's basically perfect all the time. Another important skill for support is prioritization. This means knowing who to heal at what time at any given moment. Sometimes this is your frontline, sometimes this is your DPS, and for the most part, it's as easy as if person take damage, make sure they healed. But what if multiple people are taking damage? What if you're the one taking damage? Who do you choose to heal at any given moment? This is a really important skill for supports to know. Here's an example of bad prioritization. My Junkrat is requesting healing, so I heal him, but our tank dies because I chose to heal our DPS who wasn't in an immediate threat rather than the person who was taking damage out in the front lines. Another important skill for supports to have is just pure mechanics. Obviously, other roles like DPS and tanks also require mechanics, but I think some people tend to think of supports as just some super easy role that anyone can do, but the reality of the situation is that even supports that don't necessarily need to aim to be useful still have mechanics that they need to learn and master in order to be more proficient. These mechanics aren't usually going to be in the form of like really cool aim montages where they get high octane multi kills, but sometimes as a support you pull off just the right heal or you get a keep sleep on someone and it makes you feel like you're the king of the world. The next important skill for supports to have is game sense. Game sense refers to knowing what's happening in the game at any given moment and being able to use the information that you're being provided to kind of predict what's going to happen next. To highlight this, I think the best way to explain it is just by using examples from the game. So I went and played a game and during the game I just kind of spoke out loud about what my internal thoughts were. So here's a few clips demonstrating game sense, I think. Sleep dart available just so I can try and be clutch. Oh, okay. She died a lot faster than I thought she would. Gonna hit the sleep to get out of there. Ow. Okay, looking for a visor or a dead eye pretty quick. Also, I don't think Earth Shatter was used, so we need to be worried about that. Our Sojourn is just playing like a. Oh, there it is. Sojourn is playing like an absolute maniac. I'm alive. Holy cow. Okay, good night. Here's another clip from the same game that demonstrates more game sense, I think. Can you rest me, please? Oh, oh goodness. You're so cute. <laughs> okay, Ana's lowest. Oh, goodness. Uh, counter Nano. Sleep. Okay, okay, I'm liking what's happening. Big fan, big fan of that play. All these positives aside, I think there are still a few disclaimers to be aware of if you're thinking about picking up the role of support. Not really things that make it terrible to play, but definitely a few things to be aware of. For starters, it's easy for supports to feel like they're not making a big impact on the state of the game, especially in games like Overwatch 2, which is what you've been watching this whole time. The way it's currently balanced, DPS and tanks are definitely going to be the strongest players on the team, with the supports just kind of backing up. 
you're usually not able to make a crazy play that dictates the entire flow of the match. That's not to say that doesn't ever happen, but it's definitely usually the role of the tank or DPS to make those big game altering decisions. I've also heard from some that support can be a bit of a boring role to play. Obviously as a support main, I'm a bit biased, so I don't really understand this take, but the common arguments that I've heard is that it's really boring to just be healing people all the time, and they would rather be the ones getting the kills or making the pushes, and to that I say, there is definitely moments when supports are the ones getting the kills or making those pushes, and it's just about finding the right opportunities to do that. So overall, through its ups and downs, I think support is definitely just my all-time favorite role to play in any video game. If you've never played support and you always thought it's some sort of boring role that only boring people play, I hope that this opened your eyes a little bit to the potential that support has to offer and how it's actually an engaging role that's quite interesting to play. So if you've never given it a shot, I highly suggest you try it. But that's everything from me this week. I'll see you all next time.